Okay. Let me try to explain a little bit about Landau Damini with my limited knowledge of it. So from from the non uh, feel free feel free scenario, we derive d equals to one derived like this equation. For the dispersion, we have uh, d equals to zero. If we if if we expand expand this. Sorry, this should supposed to be like v dot v. So we want to expand around Basically, what we do is just, is just Taylor Taylor expanded, so we we'll end up having an equation like zero equals one minus the leading term. Let's see if we can do that. Uh, square one minus one minus the leading term will be, of course, this is the same. Here is our here is our second term. So if we assume assume k is parallel to v and make v the, the multitude of v is u, we can we can conduct a conduct a uh, Riemann uh, Riemann theorem using com using compl complex analysis.
So basically, we just merge those two together in the front here. Sorry, that would be epsilon. So, and, you, and then you do the coaching integral on, on this, the whole term. Because you can consider this as a, as a pole. distribution will be uh, Maxwell Maxwellian distribution let's just study the species of elect uh, of electron for now Yep, and plug it in here and then try to calculate it. The trick of calculating this is just, sorry, I'm almost out of chalkboard again. Maybe I can just go to here and uh, let me switch the camera a little bit. Sweet. Um, so let's continue then. Then we can just use we can just use, think that one over u minus omega r over k equals. equals 1 over omega over k plus u omega 1 over k squared uh, uh, it's basically a uh, expansion with respect to with, with respect to u in Taylor theory you can, def you can see that, right? You just do the derivative and you will have that. And now it's rather simple to do the Gauss, Gauss, uh, Gaussian, uh, Gaussian integral. As you can see that, you know, you definitely know how to calculate this. You know, we have been training years for calculating this type of integral and eventually we will have something re rather rather interesting we'll have the uh, well, uh, angular angular frequency of real, the real part of angular frequency be this. Sorry, three. So we can just do a little bit trick of good old Taylor expansion. I don't find that it's really familiar in a way. For me, the 3.2 is alarming in the sense that it looks somewhat like 
it just it just like our what what we derive the way what we derive from the oh by the way where the lambda d e is uh, kappa d e over four pi n e over e squared. What we derive from uh, our our hy uh, hydrodyn uh, sorry M MHD theory, but the interesting part is the omega i. We have negative pi a over a omega p e over a cube lambda. E cube exponential negative two the square so that is rather rather interesting because you know that the wave will become exponential negative, sorry, negative i omega t and you will have exponential negative i omega r t exponential Sorry, I don't need a T. Which is rather curious. 